Hello. Let's, let's do some some work. <clears throat> Need to remember how to use these programs. I haven't used them in a while. I guess we begin by addressing this issue right here. Why the hell <clears throat> is my glass bumpy? Okay, so there is there is a shadow underneath. Okay. <clears throat> and there is like a material underneath as well. This bad boy right here, iron shiny. This goes through all of the come on. Come on. For some reason my GPU is becoming very slow. Let's see. Blah blah blah. Performance. That seems to be fine. Maybe it will. Maybe it will. It will be that maybe it will start start working once it heats up <laughs> anyway so here I need to I need to fix this iron shiny material so that it's only added on the areas where I want it to be added and not here per se uh, because it seems like all of my geometries yeah, the normal map, I don't know if you can see, but the normal map gets transferred to all of the geometries here that are underneath the iron shiny material, which is not good. Yep. Okay, so let's think then. Uh, iron shiny I need to slap on a black mask on it so it's being masked out from everything right and then 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 let's go f1 no not that's not f1 but it should be f1 hmm yeah 3d 2d oh yeah, yeah f2 f2 and I guess all we need to do is just select um, these these areas here, right? <clears throat> right. 
Right. So let's do that. Um, how do I do that? I need to select this. And I'm not gonna be painting it. No, I'm not painting you. Shit, I don't remember. Cursor, cursor. That's just brushes. Is it here? Clone stamp tool, smudge tool. Polygon fill, there we go. <clears throat> That's gonna be the one that we need. Polygon fill tool. And I will select for now mesh fill and just select these meshes. So I'm initially I'm basically coloring these meshes with the, the, the iron shiny material as easy as that like that 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 those is that all i think that's all of them right yeah that's gonna be all of them. <clears throat> then... Then let's think. This is too orange. Naturally, it's 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 way too orange. So I kind of don't I don't want it to be this this orange orange. Bleh. And also like stuff like this, it should be metallic, I think. So question is, if I do. Okay, what's metal paint? It's that. Okay. And it has plastic, glossy. A little bit loud, aren't you? Wait. So here we're using base plastic material. And that's without it. So let's think if we actually... <clears throat> how we want to work with this. I mean, if, if I were to look at it as a material just material that doesn't look that bad compared to the shiny boys right I will be working on the shiny material as well don't don't, don't worry but those look fine Maybe. Or maybe the whole thing is just painted metal. It's hard to decide. I mean, now it looks fine as it is here. 
with the knuckles and stuff. That looks cool. Hmm. Okay, so this needs to be shiny for sure. This doesn't necessarily need to be shiny. Those. Okay, let's let's uh, just check it out. Uh, let's ju let's just do it in a quick and dirty way. So I'm going to take uh, this plastic base, like the color material. And I'll slap on a um, mask, a black mask on it. So naturally it doesn't... Wait, I need it to be... That's my bad. I need to invert the mask. I need it to be everywhere. And now for this mask, using the, the black color, and the texture islands, UV chunk fill uh, mode for filling. What if I click on one of these? Shit, absolutely nothing happens, huh? Uh, let's check, how's the mask looking like? Hmm. Cure. That's very peculiar. Okay, so it now works like that, and this becomes white, what? Oh, because it's inverted. Oh, so I'm basically... Okay, clear mask, I'm, I'm messing it up. We're, we're not doing anything with this. Um... Delete mask, remove mask. There we go. Let's let's add l add a white mask. There we go. And here, if I click now, this needs to become black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Okay. So now what I can do is I, I can just select these areas here. And they will be kind of masked out. So now if we look at it through the material. This is how it looks like. Mm. It seem doesn't look that great. Ain't gonna lie. But perhaps I'll be able to paint it out. We're, we're, we're keeping it for now. Okay. This. No this no okay gotcha gotcha so this whole thing is one big island so kind of need to paint right really hope that i wouldn't need to paint but we're here we are painting okay brush yes please is there a way yeah, there we go, the alpha. And here I can just use... different brushes. Um, I can do sponge. Let's try sponge. Let's make this uh, much smaller. M much smaller. Okay, and uh, let's make this actually black. How do you... Is this black now? No? Oh, uh, here I'm, I can test it out. Uh, oh, there it is. Black. Okay, good. And... Yeah... It's not really... Not really doing what I wanted to do. Let's see. Hardness one. Bow. Okay. Maybe this was a bad idea with a. Maybe we used like charcoal or something. 
yeah, 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 charcoal is much better. It's much more smudgy. Okay. So we can use charcoal. Maybe we can go and find some sort of a something in between, like a pastel brush. Yeah, that will do the trick. I just need it to be a little bit bigger. Let's go for that. Just need that to, to blend in. <clears throat> Once I get tired of this, we'll, we'll start doing some animation stuff, shenanigans. But for now, we're dealing with this. Um, how does this look like? It's kind of okay. Yeah. Not that bad, not that bad. We, 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 we can work with this. Um, then for the, the, the base of this, so there is definitely not going to be, oh, that's too big. So as I said, th there's definitely not going to be a lot of um, paint there. It's just going to look like that. All scratched up. Should be fine. This one too. Yeah, that's good enough. We don't need it to be too detailed. <clears throat> but also I don't want it to be you no know, super um like off the shelf if, if you know what I mean. Hi Hi, welcome. I'm back. I'm sick, but I'm back. Just coloring some... Some toes, I guess. Some robot toes. You're sick too? Well... Yeah, that's... That's uh, winter for ya. <clears throat> Getting some in there. In between the little toes. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this should be fine. Okay. So now if I have this <clears throat> colored in. Not colored in, but like adjusted. Like that. Oops, that that was an, an, a no-no. Okay, if we have that, <clears throat> then we kind of want to also be able to to trim away the iron. Um, this bad boy right here. So I'll I'll just slap on a white mask on it. And just draw, <clears throat> draw here. Hmm. 
yeah yeah this could do the trick but um maybe not to this extent though so let's see how we can change this size larger spacing jitter size jitter pretty large angle jitter pretty large and then i need a hardness and spread what's the spread oh definitely not a spread something like that mm. Maybe not. That's a tricky one. I kind of want it only on the highest points. Hmm. Okay, textures. And there's no proper texture for this, is there? <clears throat> okay, let's let's try to find something here. And what if we do something like that? for iron <clears throat> iron shiny or this one what if I add a fill onto here How does that look like? It actually looks pretty decent, I would say. Yeah. I wanted to ask you something. I have a very good knowledge on Rhino and V-Ray. The architectural offices here in Greece ask 70% SketchUp and sometimes I feel like that. Uh, I should learn more software. And if, if they ask for SketchUp and you want to work in an you know, for, for an architectural office. You need to learn SketchUp. That's... That's life. Slap some there. Can I slap some here? Kinda want a bling here to happen. Yeah, something like that. Perhaps a little bit of... Yeah, yeah, something like this. Um, maybe that that's too much. Is there like a... That's pastel. Yeah, something like that. It's gonna be gonna be good. Okay, <clears throat> back to this mask, and then we need to. Whoa! Projection. No, 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 no. This one. Uh, pow, pow, pow. Alright, feet are okay now. Kinda. Not really, but kinda.
If you love Rhino, then look for offices that use Rhino. I mean, okay. First of all, it doesn't really matter what kind of software you use for, for stuff. What matters is what you design with it. So you can design really shitty buildings with Rhino. And you can design amazing buildings with SketchUp and vice versa. So it's wrong focus, in my opinion. You should focus on other things. Kinda want to... Okay, what if we do a little bit of, of iron brushing here? Will this slap on? This doesn't slap on. Why doesn't it slap on? Let's check the mask. It's all white. Oh, that means because the mask here is black, yeah. <clears throat> so now, yeah, this slaps on, but it slaps on with the plastic. That's fine. Yeah, that, that, that's fine. All we need to do is just draw it where we want it. There we go. And then in here, in here, we just, or actually I can just do this polygon fill, um, black, bam. How does this look? Yeah, that looks better. <clears throat> Don't go to the office with SketchUp. Okay, that's a black mask, and then this is gonna be a drawn on mask where we're just gonna whoop, uh, whale then that's awkward material mm. oh that's my bad uh, metal paint this one okay that that whoop, 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 that just hit it there a little bit the front can be whatever yeah that, that's fine and let's let's switch it up a bit How do you make it smaller? Minus, plus, no. Scroll, control scroll? Yes, control scroll. Perfect. <clears throat> Just make it shiny. Make it shiny, I said. God damn it. Hardness shape, that's good. Jitter, angle jitter, a lot. Okay, that one can stay. Mm. Yeah, okay. <sighs> oh, 
lot of work for not much effect. But hey, we're pushing through. Mm. This is... I, I want to break it apart a bit, but maybe first let's... Yeah, let, let's, let's get metal parts that I want to be metal. To be metal. Uh, so this map needs to be a little bit fixed fixed up a bit um nope definitely not li like that like that perfect so those two are gonna be metal <clears throat> mm -hmm. Something like this should be fine. And these are going to be metal. What about you? Uh, yeah, I guess. No. These can be metal. I'll need to fix the seams there, but that's fine. Bam, bam. Like that. Oh, this whole thing. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Oops. Alright. So that's metallic. What about here? Oh yeah, yeah that, that's the whole thing. No, that's not gonna be metallic. Also not that. Um... inner parts here those should be metal can't easily switch that can't easily switch that um, can't switch that though so that's nice ah zoom out Um, okay, let's see. And there, there is a discussion about SketchUp versus Rhino. Zaha stuff. Okay, so with SketchUp you can't do fancy forms and fancy shapes. Let me be. <clears throat> let me be a devil's advocate for a second. What's the percentage in the world of the offices that do Zaha did esque shapes in architecture? What's the percentage, in your opinion, what's the per percentage of the offices <clears throat> in the world that actually would make use of Rhino's NURBS modeling techniques? One percent, no. Not one. One would be one in a hundred offices. That would mean, like for every country, let's say Greece, right? You would have... I, I, I would say Greece probably has around... Two thousand offices, architectural offices, maybe more, three thousand, right? <clears throat> so for three thousand architectural offices, you would have thirty that do Zaha did stuff. 
right? So only Greece would have 30. So it's not 1%. It's most likely not 0.1% if we take global average. It's much closer to 100 offices in the world that have the opportunity to do. Sorry, I did like stuff that have the clients that are willing to do that kind of geometry. It's not like the offices, they don't want to do fancy geometry. It's the you just don't have the clients who would have enough money. Right? Um, like developers, they don't want to invest that much more into a project. So then, if, if your aim is to um, how do I say this? If your aim is to be as versatile as possible in terms of your software, then you need to know Revit. Not SketchUp, not Rhino. You need to know Revit or Archicad. Because that's the what every single office is using. And then the question between SketchUp and Rhino it's like two kids throwing sa uh, sand at each other in a playground while Revit and Archicad is mommy and daddy who are actually making money for the family. Right? And basically those two kids, uh, Rhino and uh, SketchUp, just tr trying to uh, figure out who is the favorite kid in the family. <clears throat> oh yeah, and also the, the, there's the whole uh, problem with uh, manufacturers uh, or the, the builders. So if you... Like my suggestion to you would be to actually learn Revit. Um, and then there's the trick. The trick is called Rhino inside Revit, right? So you go into an office knowing Revit, or at least the basics of Revit, right? And everyone in the office uses Revit. But you, and only you, know Rhino. Everyone else uses SketchUp plus Revit, and you use Rhino plus Revit. And with Rhino inside Revit, you're able to produce um, everything faster at a, and at a higher quality because the import-export portion is, you know, very seamless, right? So then, immediately, you become a very, very valuable em em employee, right? So that that is like a gateway for uh, to get Rhino into an architectural office and uh, that that uses Revit because of Rhino inside Revit uh, bridge so so think about that I, I, I think uh, yeah I think it's it's very hard to argue for Rhino without Revit but it's very easy to argue for Rhino with Revit Okay, let's see. Kinda like this, I'm not gonna lie. And that's that's pretty sexy. Let's make that nice. Let's make that nice. Just need to remember like that. Is there like a symmetry option here? There is. Um I'm scared to use it though. Let, let's see on, on something simple. Yeah, okay, symmetry doesn't work. That's fine. Or uh, it probably does. I just don't know how to make it work. Um, don't care though. Should be still fine. Um, can you get colored? Yes, you can. That means here as well. Perfecto. Here. 
perfect shiny shoulders perfect uh, what about here yep oh we'll need to solve that problem but mm, <clears throat> shouldn't be that big of an issue um yeah that needs to be colored in I have plans for those so we don't mess with those. Right now we're just <clears throat> dealing with uh, friction areas. Probably missed something, right? Um, that and the inner. That and the inner. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, these pipey boys. I kind of like them the way they are. I will not work with them um, fingers though no need for any oh shit uh, there we go e easy no need for coloring there <clears throat> what about here Okay, good. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about this. Maybe that's too much. Or actually... No, that should stay. Okay. We color them like so then. Yep. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, that's so many islands there. Holy shit. Okay, that's done. Then we color these. And it's holding there. That's good. That was orange for some reason. That's also orange for some reason. Am I not coloring in black? Yeah, it's black. It's just me. Okay, and here. Oh, nope. Undo that. Are you... Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna make it real nice. Like professional grade stuff. As I recall, I think Rhino API can be used in other softwares too, such as Unity and Real. Oh, Rhino inside API. Uh, if you are going down the visualization route, uh, also I haven't tried yet, so no idea if it works as good. It's uh, it works. It works. Um, the thing is that even though it works. Um, One second. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of want... Can we... Can we get some paint in here? Even though it works, um, twin motion, D5 render, and, and so on, all of them are using... Um, what are they using? their own importers so in terms of visualization that ah, doesn't really matter <clears throat> UV chunk fill let's see how this will work okay I fuck with this yeah okay and then I can... Can I grab a brush and just kinda... Minus? No, wait. What was it? Was it minus? No. Ah, I don't remember. Control scroll. Yeah, yeah. That one. Hmm. 
Um, maybe other way around, right? Control Z. Uh, white color. Yeah, yeah, like that. Perfect. Um, so since they use their own uh, importers, don't really need to, don't really need to use anything else, uh, like Rhino inside. But, Revit, though, that one really benefits from it. Okay, so we have this, do I like it? It's like shiny knuckle style thing. I don't hate it. I think it's nice. I think it could use a little bit of like that. On the other side as well. that and then <clears throat> UV 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 fill I keep pressing the wrong button mm-hmm then that of course make it smaller yep yep I wonder if uh, the texture can be, like the resolution or the quality of the textures can be increased after you've drawn it. <laughs> I have no idea. I hope it can be. If it can't, I will cry. Nah, I won't. But still, we won't do any zoom-ins to the fingers then because this is not high res it's kind of high res but not 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 very high res model i need it to run on a potato okay so it does what i want it to do very very well and nothing else matters all right so that's done then I need um, I need to work with this iron material and and then and, and, and it needs to be black here so that this stuff gets shiny need all of this all of this to be shiny <clears throat> like that all right and well the thumb there can be actually colored in maybe what the fuck is that Um, the thumb there can be colored in. I don't mind it. Difference is good. Here we just kind of do this. Do you know what I'm doing here? <clears throat> Things that move usually are shiny. Can't be old or else it's gonna look very awkward. Right, and then uh, this doesn't. Hmm, don't like that. 
need to need to need to make this white and just color it in like so whoop 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 Okay, I don't think anyone will notice. Yeah, it should be fine. So then for this one... I think I just... Yeah, I just select them, don't I? Yep. Well, ain't that easy. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, I dig this. We'll import it into Blender quite soon-ish. Still need to work on a few things here. Mm, that ain't good. Mm, that ain't good as well. So maybe it needs to be, yeah, it needs to be other way around, it needs to be black, yeah, like that, perfect. Let's let's hit it a little bit more with, with the black and then we will work on it with the white because this needs to be like a joint effort type of a thing. Uh, yeah, yeah th this will definitely need to be dealt with with black and then on top we switch this to white. And we kind of... Uh, no, 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 no. Don't rotate around weird stuff. For instance, here we need to go, go deeper in. Like that. Nope. Not like that. Like that. Just around the perimeter a bit. Just to equalize that. Hi, Emmanuel. Hello. Okay. Almost there. Yeah, that seam is a little bit ugly, but I think that's fine. Okay, so here it's still bad, so let's break it apart a bit yeah that's better mm. break it hmm yeah I think that's fine <coughs> I think that's fine. Mm, except here, of course. That needs to... Oh, yeah, yeah. Nope. Hmm. 
Hmm. What's this? Mask. Show me the mask. Okay, the mask looks fine. What about this mask? That's fine. It goes all the way through. That is just black. Maybe it's just... Yeah, that... That seam... No one will notice. Why am I... Why am I doing this to myself? Okay, that is fine. I will... I will say that that is fine. This is not what I want to draw. Uh, here... What the... Oh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Just hit it like that. Damn it. Kinda like this uh, this type of work, honestly. We don't do this a lot in architecture, do we? Like did this amount of detailing in, in terms of texturing and so on. I like it. I wonder if furniture designers do this kind of stuff when they, you know, create renders for their furniture. Probably not. Unless it's some sort of a vint vintage line of furniture. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Sorry? Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. Okay. Oh, and here. No seams. No seams. Seems bad. No seams. I said no seams. Okay, and then we we'll go for white and just carefully. Slap on a few streaks here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not bad. I dig this. I dig this. So, knees are done, huh? Knees are done. Let's get some stencils going. <clears throat> Let's try out a few stencil techniques, and then if that works, we either will continue with texturing or move to creating bones the, the problem is that for bones I will need to watch a tutorial because <laughs> I don't I don't remember I don't remember anything but for now this looks acceptable so let's think about the, the, the form itself it's too orange right it's too uniform 
it's way too uniform so we need to break it apart um how Let's add a stencil. Is it called a stencil? It's a texture. No, it's a stencil. I don't know. Let's see if you can add one. Okay, so you can just add one like that as a mask. Okay. Interesting. Or as a normal map, of course. Um, so you can add screws and stuff like that like buttons and shit hmm that's interesting so you don't need to model okay let, let's actually check this out uh, so here for instance for iron uh, for this layer can I add Um, some sort of a button. Do I want a button? Yeah, sure. Let let let. Uh, yeah, sure. This uh, normal map. And. Uh, that's that's a big boy that's a big boy right there so scale scale it down okay down to this Okay. Oh, but it's just added like that. Uh, properties fill normal button. So if I just look at normal map. Yeah, this is added. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, and what can I do with it? Uh, rotation. I can rotate it. Can I? That's hardness of it. That changes literally nothing. Okay, cool. And here we have the normal map that I don't know how to change. Yep. Unless it's changed here. That is absolutely not. No. No, 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 no. Uh... That's the scale. All right. I think I've got it. It's not hard. So that means if I just slap on checkers and say that this is a uh, height map. And the checkers, uh, circles, circles. Yeah, it just gives me this as a as a bump map, right? And then I can do tiling three. What? Oh, but it doesn't tile. Physical size. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So it doesn't tile. <clears throat> We're learning. A 
tile is here. Okay. So we can do 10 and then we can increase the size here. Or, or, or let, let, let's decrease the size. Something like that. Yep. Uh, let's see. Balance. Gotcha. Contrast. Gotcha. Don't rotate. Gotcha. Okay. So I think I've, I've got it. Um, le now let, let's do something proper. Uh, let's create a new material. Uh, on top of everything else. Above plastic paint, there is going to be actually a new group that is gonna be called spray paint. Spray paint group. And that group will have a paint material. Fuck. Uh, a fill layer. A fill layer. Like that. Just be in the group. Are you in the group? You are in the group. Okay. Fill layer, and this is gonna be called spray uh, layer. Okay, and this is gonna have now. This is gonna have uh, a mask, a black mask. Perfect. But now in that black mask, I can add, for instance, let's just add circles just to test mask. Yeah, perfect. And with this, I can uh, adjust where stuff gets sprayed on. Okay. So that will work. Except that it won't because it's now here? What the fuck? Oh, okay, so... I'm very confused. So when you select that it needs to be a mask... It still creates... Okay, delete that. Uh, back to... Spray layer. Delete that. Spray paint, delete the mask. Nope, nope, just the mask. Just the mask. Clear, clear, clear. Or remove mask, okay. And basically, let's just find something that we will actually use. What what are those, like, um, how do you call them? Um, stripes, like... Orange cone stripes called... Stripes, I assume. You can run, you can uh, stripe. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Stripes. That's what I want. So I will just slap them on here as a mask. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. That that's what exactly what I want. <clears throat> okay. So one leg, and only one leg, will need to have these stripes. So for that, I need to scale up this thing to fully cover one of the legs well I guess it's gonna cover both of the legs but I only care about one of them so we will do some masking shenanigans later okay so it's covered and it goes through right so that's the depth isn't it yeah okay so with projection depth I can choose 
how far does it go? This seems to be fine. Alright, then for the tiling, what's tiling? Okay, so tiling is how much of it is being filled. Uh, so just one. Histogram position. Oh, okay, I can make them thicker or thinner. Contrast does nothing. Pattern. Pattern. Okay, and this is how many stripes. So, can I have more? I can, but they look bad. What if I have a lot? Are they rotating? Wait, 0.5? Uh, yeah, the more stripes we have, the more they rotate or they get just scaled. That's weird. Either way, what's the softness? Ah, no, no, no. What's the shift? Okay, so you can kind of control it with the shift. Align, center. No idea what that does. Doesn't matter. Okay. Um, okay, so we have that. Then these stripes, they go onto the spray paint layer. And the spray paint layer... needs mm. needs a mask doesn't it yes it needs a mask a black mask and that black mask right now it's it's like I'm basically just masking out all of the stripes like from from all of the geometry so I can go in here and color this and this white because these are the two bad boys that I want to have stripes. All right. Uh, then let's take a look at how it actually looks like. Nothing happens. No, no, never mind. It needed to think. Okay, so we get something like this. Which is fine, but also not fine. Because reasons here, for instance, that that's a problem. That's a problem. Uh, that's not necessarily a problem. Yeah, the bottom is fine. Here, it's a little bit of a yikes. Especially here. Okay, so here I just need to color this black right here. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> and here, can I just do that? Call it a day. And then, 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 we do need to use a little bit of overspray shenanigans here. Because, you know, you're spray painting, of course, it's gonna, gonna get onto the metal a little bit. What? Get in there gonna get on to the metal a little bit not too much 
Cave. What do you think? I think this looks not too bad, but also not that amazing. We need to work on this a bit more. First of all, the stripes themselves, they need to be... There needs to be less of them. Pattern... 10. Five. What? This is not what should be happening right now. Oh. So shift is messing us up. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, so stripes. Like that. And I all I need to do is, I assume, just to rotate this. 45 degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. No, no, no. Come on. Give me... Give, give, give it to me. So that's a thing and then I can change the amount of stripes to something like that. How does this look? Mm. Okay. Just a bit more. Seems good. Um, this should not be here. This goes away altogether. No, no, no. Don't need you. Sure. Here, huh? Uh, uh, I think we're, we're fine. Uh, misfire. <clears throat> Crotch area will will fix next time, I think. the cookie 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 let's save this bad boy mm. 
Let's get Blender in here. is loading is there like a export textures I just want to test it out mm -mm. let's export them to here oh, test Okay. PBR, metallic roughness, PNG, sure, size, based on each texture set size, ah, okay, so for now we'll export them as they are, but you need to memorize this. <clears throat> export shaders parameters. I don't know. Uh, just export, I guess. This program is called Substance Painter 3D. It's Adobe stuff. Pretty good. Um, I like using it. I think it's it's pretty awesome. Hmm. There's still so many things that I don't know how to use with it. But in general, uh, for, for texturing, I think it's amazing. The map CRT material emissive 1005 can't be generated for the texture set material. <sighs> the fuck? Uh... I don't know what you mean. One o o five. This can't be generated for the texture set material. So, so it just skips over it, or what? Show me. No, one o o. Oh, it's just roughness. No, there's normal. Oh, emissive. It's because we don't have any emissive stuff here. Question mark? Maybe? Probably? We'll see. But basically, it, it just gives us all of these maps right here. And now I need to figure out how do I create a material okay so this is my ob uh, I skip uh, tab so this is my object and it has a material. And that material needs to use multiple maps. How do I use multiple maps on it? I think it is time for us to Google um, Blender Udim 
material blender manual do, do, do. sidebar image with us blender create udim material set up no not set up how do I create uh, pictures please come on and anyone knows in the chat how do you use udim materials see something here this might be something how do you use, uh. okay fine let's 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 watch it oh i watched it already i don't remember this okay Mapping Udems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, editor. Hmm. Uh huh. Oh wait, there is already like materials uh, applied to to this character. No, no, no. Yeah, there we go. So separate Udems, perfect. Yeah. Oh, and here, here it is. Uh, so these are like separate materials. that are created let's see here so if I create one material or rather let, let, let's start fresh uh, new material 001 and let's make it red okay uh, new uh, Material zero zero two is gonna be blue. Okay. That doesn't work. Mm. Back to the tutorial. So they have this as well. Okay, new material. Do you need to apply the material to a specific you no you you should not need to right right okay, fine. slots baked out maps 
Drawing, drawing, drawing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Still drawing. Really likes to draw. Okay, and those are the ears. Exported, okay. Now show me. Uh, UVs. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so that's the material settings. Just deletes them. Image texture. Mapping. Okay. Where do you specify? <clears throat> So does that mean that it automatically recognizes? No shot. So I guess we can just try it out. We can just try it out. So only one material, right? Coordinates, something, something, I don't remember. Need to check. Eh. Back, back, back. Where was it? Texture coordinates. Yeah, yeah, of course. Now, when I say it, of course. Coordinates. Okay, so coordinates are gained from UVs that go into vector, and the vector goes into vector here, and that is gonna be. Let's just open up our desktop test. Uh, I guess base color open, and it should just work. Huh. Okay. So it it's it's a smart boy. It actually understands. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> so it understands that it needs to go through the you know, through all of these colors, like all of these slots here. Good. Okay, so that's the base color. What else do we have? Mm. We probably have roughness, I assume. We have height, metallic, normal, roughness. 
height metallic normal roughness. Okay. Mm, let's just open it up. Get height in there. Kablamo. Oh wait, it's it understands here that the pseudem tiles. That's why it's doing that. It's cool. That's cool. What is this? This is height. Am I... Am I missing something here? Does it need to go directly into displacement? Maybe it does. Will it work? Oomph. It... No. <laughs> that, 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 that's a no. That's a no. So how do you deal with height in here? Oh, so this guy didn't, but uh, you dim, you dim, uh, or rather blender height map. Um, okay, th th that's just literally displacement. So I just need to create a. Uh, displacement um, which asks for a normal Bump. Okay, um, I assume then <clears throat> that EV sucks. Let me just make that quick, quick little assumption that EV or this is not the play, but rather cycles is. Um, so let's just switch it over to cycles with a denoiser. Whoa, that's trippy. Okay, um, I need some sort of a environment here. Uh, can I just do like some sunlight situation? Or rather, yeah, let's just do sunlight. Rx rotate, Rz rotate like that. Okay. Come on, zoom in. So that's no displacement. What? Am I? Missing something. Oh, it needs to be selected. Yes, yes, I was missing something. So now, if I slap this into a displacement map, yeah, it gives me this. I really don't like it. Oh, 
I really don't like it. Okay, so for now, let's hide the uh, this, this fox off. Uh, let's create an image texture here. Um, let, let, let's just add the other ones, the, the, the ones that we know how to add, and then we'll figure out the one that we don't. So height, no idea. Um, this one though, should be pretty straightforward, goes into metallic. Gets recalculated, perfect. So now the metallic bits should look metallic. They indeed look metallic. Great. Uh, then uh, one more. That is gonna be. Oop, 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 nope. That is gonna be our normal map, I assume. Or roughness, one of these. Normal. Right, let's try normal. Goes right in here. Mm. Yeah, that's not... Stop the noising. Yeah, that's not good. So that's that's a problem. Okay. So it's a normal ma Oh, maybe it needs to go through something. If I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Normal map. Uh, color goes in. Yeah, now it works. There we go. Singing songs of gentle morning for his love. Or can I just do object space? No, I can't. Definitely can't. Tangent space. Normal map. Zoom out. Shades move. We're still getting like weird. Uh, maybe not. No, this is looking better. Okay. So that's a normal map. And now we just need to make it shiny, right? <clears throat> Roughness. Bam. As easy as that. Becomes such a shiny boy. Alright, uh, let's go back to our layout view with a render preview. I said a render preview. Just being sure that's smooth. Okay, and can this get like a subdivision modifier? Come on, it's just <clears throat> just half a million polygons. Shouldn't crash. No, it's not crashing. That's good. Okay, so if I further subdivide this and then look at just the finger of it. Uh, 
does it still look weird so I can't can't zoom in properly eh. yeah that looks kind of okay um need like a HDRI uh, where else world color give me like a, come on environment texture um, and let's let's just get an HDRI in here do I have any yes Doesn't matter which one, just give me an HDRI. Hmm. Something's off. Something is definitely off. I need to <coughs> probably fix something here. Okay, what if it's raw? Huh. Okay, raw helped a lot. Um. Okay, that does that, we don't mess with that. Um, then something's... So the roughness, 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 roughness. Can this be raw? Feels like we need to import everything as raw, right? Let's just see. Um, oops, close that, no one needs to see that. Um, Substance Painter to Blender. Uh huh. What? Wait. No, the Wrangler. Okay, we don't care about that. Um. Metallic is non-color, normal is non-color. Engine space with without UV mapping seems to do the trick. And something gets inverted. Oh wait, alpha for roughness and color for metallic? The fuck? What? Alpha for roughness and color for metallic. Here he's just gonna use uh, ambient occlusion. Yeah, okay, that's 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 fine. Um, mm, okay, so roughness non-color. Um, 
normal map not this don't care about that uh -huh. but instead non color here okay then we don't mess with this anymore The thing is that we have the base color, the metallic, and the metallic all together. Um, so I don't really need even more crap. But I, what I kind of want is the ambient color that I can slap on top of hmm, the ambient map I mean they're like a ambient occlusion yeah yeah okay um, can I just mix uh, mix 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 RGB color with color and use uh, multiply yeah for some reason no it's weird or should it should this one be top? Whoa! This one in the bottom. Um. And the distance is this in meters, or millimeters, or or what? Okay, let's just check it out first. So it's just white, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So if I increase the distance and make it black uh, and de de decrease the distance. Normal clear coat emission, IOR, clear coat, clear coat sheen, roughness, specular, subsurf. Alright. How does AO look like with one? With ten? With forty two? Damn it. Is it because I'm not using normals? Are those the normals? Those are not the normals. That's the, those are the normals. Can that be now placed in here with distance of one? It's 
so hard to tell. Okay, I give up. Uh, we don't do that. We just use regular base color. Whatever. Either way, we have ourselves a working model. Kinda. Mostly. We'll need to figure out the screen and there's gonna be a whole thing that we will need to do. But we know that it works and that's what matters. Let's figure out how to do bones. Or more texturing. Hmm. Uh, let's do some texturing later. Uh, because this can be pretty mindless. So uh, we don't, you know, we won't need to think as we're doing this. But the, the, the bones, those are going to be pretty tricky pretty tricky so let's work on those instead timeline this goes down here becomes like that okay and i don't need the light for now so this bad boy needs to not have a subdivision surface modifier first of all Second of all, needs some armature. Not just any kind of armature, but rather needs to have um, like rigid, rigid bone structure. I guess it's a robot. Um, I don't even know where to begin, honestly. I think we will be using. Rigify, maybe? Or do we create our own? Let's think. Um, maybe we should Google or search rather. Mm. Blender armature robot tutorial that maybe we use that and that's custom made bones. I use that. Maybe we can... Okay. Let's just... You know what I like to do. I like just to try. Let's just try. So... If... I... Use Rigify plugin... Which is... Add-on, not plugin. Oh, it's already loaded in. Okay. <clears throat> And I slap in the armature human meta rig because this is a humanoid robot, so it should be fine. Yeah, okay, like that. R Z ninety. Okay, other way around. Control Z. R Z minus ninety. Um
S. Scale it down. Okay. Uh, then I need to get rid of the bones that I will not be using. I assume I can just do it with a delete button. Is it dissolve? Dissolve selected bones. Remove selected bones. I assume it's remove, right? Okay. No need for that. No need for that. No need for that or that or that. Uh, there we go. Um, I don't think boobies will be needed. No. So we get rid of those. Uh, toes, heels, those will be needed. Pelvis. That's a lot. We'll see if we need that 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 many there. But yeah, we have ourselves a little bit of a rig here. Um, if I check the scale and the, uh, the, the, the rotation, I need to reset these or else it's not going to target that well. So I'm going to control A, all transforms. So all of the transforms have been applied. Now it's fine. Um, I think we just need to position it, right? not gonna be easy though because it needs to be positioned like the, the 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 bones they need to be positioned on very accurate areas um, so how do we do that most likely I need to Okay, I need to be in edit mode, but of the robot. <clears throat> and I need to find like these, these points, these rotation points around which I can, can rotate stuff. Jeez, that's, that's gonna be tricky. Is it better if I import Is it better if I import something from blend uh, from Rhino to help me with the selection? Probably not. Mm. Okay, different question. How accurate do I need to be? Probably not that accurate, but accurate enough. So if I were to select this, this. First of all, let's try to figure out what would happen if I just take this and what? 
no 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 oh you don't why why do i only see x axis mirror it can't be mirrored on on any other axis i mean sure but that's very awkward Okay, I guess I need to rotate everything around Z, 90 degrees, sure, Control A all transforms, Control A all transforms, and then we try again, hmm. Okay, uh, what if uh, we, we start from somewhere here, though? And here I just say... <clears throat> this is separated out, god damn it. Will I really need to build like a custom rig for this? It might be faster, honestly. Well, let's see. Move to position sh shift A, is it it? No, shift A is bone, control A, no, control A is not that as well. Oh, I just created a, accidentally created a bone here. Um, control A, shift A. Nope. Uh, Alt A. Hmm. Oh, S, S, Shift, S. Selection to cursor. Selection to active. Selection to grid. Okay. So, if I... If I select something like here and here and I snap it... Now this needs to be a bone in itself, so I can't use a typical humanoid meta rig. Awesome. We need to build our own. All right, I guess we start building. Where do we begin? The arm, why not? No, we need to begin from... Where? Having fun. <clears throat> 
Sorry. <clears throat> Or do we use the meta rig and just figure it out as we go? Doesn't seem like uh, revert, revert. At least here, it's it's kind of working. RZ ninety. Control A, all transforms. Let's go to town. Um, tap. So at least here it's gonna be pretty easy. We get this. We get this. These two points here. Shift S. Cursor to selected. Get the middle point. Um, tap out of there. Select armature. Select that one. Shift S. Selection to cursor. Okay. So this one is now directly where I want it to be. Then. This will need to be somewhere here, and for that, I will need to uh, tab in here to I'm thinking actually. Actually, let's go for that. So, um, let's see this ribbon here. Uh, how many? One, two, third. One, two, third. That. Is that the correct one? Ah, oh. steak. One, two, three. One, two, three, yes. Uh, shift S. Cursor is selected right in the middle. Um. Oh, we're. Uh, okay. Go back. There we go. We need it to be mirroring, and this needs to move to selection to cursor. <clears throat> what? Is it? Oh, it's just freaking out like crazy because of the rotations. The scale is fine though. We found a bug. That's nice. Or maybe let's tr let's see met the rig symmetry bug 
Meow. Okay, everyone says that uh, rotation should be applied, but S. Uh, control A uh, Rotation and scale Sure Tab Get that one in here If I tab this and I check the the armature, uh, while we're here, um, um So I don't know. <clears throat> so I don't know why that's happening. thinking fuck it we're just going to make our own rig maybe wait what if we create a method what the <laughs> oops um If we create a meta right here. Mm, okay, so it really doesn't like it that we have deleted some some bones so do we keep bones then What does the simplified version of the meta rig look like? And doesn't have fingers, huh? K, 
can we make it have fingers? Also, wait. Oh! So the rotation here now is... Oh, fuck. I'm so confused why, why it's doing that. But basically here the rotation is fine. Um, okay. to world origin rz 90 almost 90 okay. swear to god okay now it just works Well, as long as it works. I'm, I'm, I'm happy as long as it works. Okay, so now we're back to... To square one, I guess. Cursor to selected, tab. Selection to cursor. Okay. How do I split bones into two? Is it possible? I assume it's possible. Uh, split. Oh. No. No. No, 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 no. Hmm. Blender, split, bone into two bones. Subdivide, subdivide armature. Okay, armature, subdivide. Yeah. Okay. So then this needs to be... Um, where does this need to be? This needs to be back, moved back, G, A, X, like that, even more like that then here uh, three no two have no idea what I have selected but I think that's correct shift s cursor and that looks like it's in the middle of the Folder, right so that means tab select tab uh, selection to cursor like that okay then we will do these two Okay, <clears throat> so basically this bone will only be able to rotate while this uh, ar around its own y-axis 
while this bone will only be able to rotate or this joint will only be able to rotate around the Z axis which is messed up ay 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 so I'll need to straighten this out somehow or maybe we can use global values probably we can't use global values so that will need to be straightened out is it possible to adjust the roll yes So the roll here, what if I do zero? Perfect. Zero looks straight at us. Uh, that, okay, that, that, that's bad. That's bad. So this needs to be uh, 45, I assume. Perfect. Minus 45, that's because they bend downwards, yeah! And now it's going to be able to lock its rotation around x-axis and that should be good for us and our things that we do. Who's bored? Two of you <laughs> who are still watching. Right, so then tab that. Then all we need to do is figure out <clears throat> this. Uh, so this bone needs to be subdivided see all you need to do is just bash your head against the problem until it just gets solved just keep bashing you know cursor to select it Then we will do. I said three, right? Um, one, two, third, and one, two, third. Uh, shift S. That tab. do I unselect there we go just kind of want to position them a little bit in a little bit more normal place okay What does pose mode look like? Ah, okay. So these do that. This does that. What the fuck? Okay. So I assume... Oh, and this rotates like that. So we don't rotate them from there. Do we use G? No, we don't. Um, what 
world origin will this now rotate around yeah now this rotates around world origin um do i not know how to rotate these things how do people rotate bones Well, I know how people rotate bones in, in, in... Yeah. In the rig, but... Ah, uh, whatever. Later. For now, we just attach everything where, where things need to be. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Okay, um... Where does this go? Go. Low key, high key. <laughs> Where does that go? So that that's the finger tip, right? Yeah, those are the finger tips. That means that these are gonna be first joint, second joint, or rather, first joint, second joint, third joint, and this. going to scream So they, they just kind of get placed there awkwardly. That's fine, still fine. Okay, first of all, let's, let's do the fingertips. Edit mode, object mode, there we go, tab. <clears throat> so, I guess I can just do... Yeah. Where's the cursor?
So the fingertip part is done, now it's time for joints. gonna be I assume here oh, but it's hard to, to catch it like that So we have the thumb going. <clears throat> That's ready to to go. Nice. Then time for these fingers. How do how do I undo cursor? Um, undo cursor position there. Mm. Okay, you can't. <laughs> of course, you can't. Mm. So I guess we do this do this again. making the same mistake selection the cursor there we go
Maybe I should do this off stream. This seems to be a little bit boring. And if it's boring for me, that means it's boring for you. Mm. Oh, let, let's do this one thing real quick and then... Um, We'll just see if the hand uh, will work, and then I will move on to something else. are gonna be where the hell do we place these bad boys yes I guess we'll just have them here
There we go. Oh, well, that was tricky. Thank God for mirror modifier. Okay, so I just want to apply. <clears throat> apply this mesh, the metric onto this mesh, right? Don't remember how to. So I kind of need to... Need to add a rig to the mesh. So do I parent... What do I parent? This to this. Control P. with automatic weights and then for each bone I will just kind of color the weights or should it be bone relative maybe bone relative Okay. Um, and then if I have this, do I just generate it? Org knows not found. Okay. All right. So it can't generate it because it doesn't because I deleted. Damn. So is this empty? Let's hide that. Oh, it's still here. It just doesn't show anything. Yeah, it just has spine in there. Pose mode. Am I selecting anything? No, I'm not. Okay. So it's unable to generate the rig for us. Um, that's because we don't have a face rig. Is it possible for me to... Can I not have them? Mm. Mm 
<laughs> oh, wrong one. Um, that. Yes, that. That. Okay, so it kind of generates a, an additional bit there that we don't need. Um, so now with that disabled, perhaps it's not going to comp... No, it's complaining. Mm-hmm. Okay, time to Google. The face bones were not all removed as I saw one inside the big bone when I moved it. Okay. So I see, okay. Um, where's the bones? <laughs> oh, that that's the wrong rig. You go away, meta rig. Um, yeah, there's like a bone there, isn't it? Let's see. Tab this. Uh, 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 okay, torso, hide that. So that's our face bone that we just delete. Yep. Try again. Upper arm input to rig type must be chain of at most three bones. Ah, so it's not gonna be be happy oh wait I can't generate Hmm. Not like that. Twin kind of has a few bones there. Okay, let's try again. So since I with this motherfucker So it's this, huh? It 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 uh, or it's either this or it's this whichever one of these um complaining and it's not letting me do a uh, human meta rig because it's not a human meta rig anymore um damn it so Night wings and ignite. 
So I would need to do like a custom thing for the arms, right? Okay, mm. let's see. Here under Rigify Bone Groups. Their names? Face control, I assume. He stayed true to the mm -hmm. end. Captain Joe Dariel, keeping watch. What's advanced? Target rig. No. Bone groups. There are none. But it's rigify bone groups. Okay. Maybe I need to be in the edit mode. Yes, I do. Okay, so what's that? Spines. Which is IK, and I have created a new one. Uh, for instance, this one. a little bit on the difficult side, ain't gonna lie. Okay, I'll need to do this alone. Screw this. Oh, hi Yusuf. if I do pose now
to the stars we shall find a way home we shall find a way home I wonder yeah okay I'll, I'll need to think about this for now I'm just gonna save this and uh, we will sort it out later uh, let's go back to substance painter and do do some texture work on this instead I guess I'll, <clears throat> I'll texture a little bit for for the Patreons, for the Patreon supporters. Actually, before we begin with that, I'll, I'll fix a few a few issues that I didn't fix beforehand. Mm, this seems okay. That doesn't, though. Is there a way of how I can isolate this? Mm. Okay, never mind. I'll just do it manually real quick. So we need to get in here and kind of do a little bit of some some um, hmm. Will it be metal paint? Coloring. Also, is it possible to change the UV tile, like the 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 settings? Can I just change it here? Based on texture set, texture set size. Um, can I make them bigger? Hello. Can some of these be bigger? settings uh no display settings shader settings um nope uh 
uh, history and log, display settings. No, that's just the regular boring as preview options, so I don't care about that. Mm. Then it's not here. Uh, so then where is it? Can it be under settings here? General? No. No, it can't. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, then if we look at the channels... Yeah, okay, we have the mesh maps. Um, and they are... Ba what? High definition meshes list is empty. Output is 4K. Okay, so let's bake out 8K. Maybe not. No. Okay, that's output size. So we still have the the normal map. baked out and we have the size and the channels okay so we have all we have all of it mm, maybe I shouldn't be too anal about this 4K is kind of okay, honestly. How big do they get? <clears throat> so this test bake is 100 megabytes. So it's 100 megabytes for uh, 4K. That means 8K would be four times bigger. It would be 400 megs. Just for one character. No, that's not worth it. That's too much. Yeah, I can't, can't have it like that. Unfortunately. So we'll have it... Um, the, 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 a smaller smaller variation of it 4k sure still looks pretty bad um f2 f3 f1 f1 zoom 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 Yeah, I guess that's the... I guess that's the resolution, isn't it? It's just bad. Um, okay, first let's let's fix those and, and then we will think about the, the resolution being bad. Okay, um... Metal paint, uh, plastic, glossy. Can I just paint on top of you? Let's see. Um, damn. 
that doesn't work at all. So what are you? Okay, that's correct. I guess the alpha channel was not selected for the brush. Maybe that was the case. That the, the reason. Uh, no. Can I select from here though? I need like veins. You no, uh, I need scratches. Scratches, there we go. But not like that, not like that, not like that. Hmm. Dirt. Blurry. Cloudy. Brushed. There we go. Uh, that one will do just fine. Let's just brush it on. Okay. Let's just brush it on. Am I missing something? Okay, black. Okay, so it's doing it. Then plastic. What the mask? Show me the mask. And I can't brush it on. Why? Oh, that's because that's because it's generated. Yeah, yeah, this one, that mask is generated, so it actually needs to go on to here. Uh, mask. Yep. Okay, so that's that's gonna do it. Uh, plastic. Um, show me the correct view. And bam. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, I want to work a little bit with the... Um, with the stroke. Yeah, there we go. Angle jitter. Please. Size jitter. Yes, please. There we go. Just need it to be a little bit more unpredictable. Yeah, this should... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I can work with this. So now we just... Do... Do, 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 do some brushing. Um, actually, it can be bigger. That's fine. Hit, hit, hit. Mm -hmm. Bigger there too. That. And, 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 always, always when you do this, <clears throat> do another pass with color. Uh, so, so bring back the, push back the textures a little bit. 
so it's not too overwhelming whelming. you know you kind of want it to be growing out like that okay so that that works that works no need to do anything more there oh this one though yeah a lot of things to do here Do a little bit of that. Eh. A little bit of that. And this should be good. here as well yeah that should be fine um, this is actually okay I would say, generally speaking, maybe we can go for, with a smaller brush and just... Huh? What was that? No, we shouldn't hit that. With a smaller brush, just buffing out details a bit. And then here... Just do something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Definitely gets hit there from time to time. <clears throat> All right, and then we go back in with white to white mask to kind of bring it back to a little bit more reasonable levels of wear and tear. For instance, here, that seam can be hidden like that. <sighs> Those arms always mess me up. Okay, like that. And then back to black. Bam, bam. A little bit here, a little bit here. Okay, the armpits. those a bit hello and thanks for the thumbs up <laughs> we're slowly building it up Kinda 
that's like a high friction area so there's no way that paint would stay there so we're gonna keep it that way um, maybe you can make this a little bit bigger okay okay Mm -hmm. Bring it back a bit. Like that. Yeah, that actually doesn't look that bad. Um, get there. There. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. At least with this one. Chromey, shiny things. Those will be worked on. Not right now. Okay. <clears throat> what else? That actually doesn't look that bad. That could be better. Then we have the neck area, right here. This should be pretty straightforward. No idea what's going on there, but don't really care. That's a very low visibility area, so no one will see. Um, like that, back to one. Hit it a few times here and there. Ooh, not there. Okay. Okay. And then we go for our Iron Forged. Huh. Okay, it's taking a while. Mm. Do I like it like that? I think it should be more scratched up. Scratches. Like that. Sandpaper. Yeah, that's that's perfect. Mhm. Mm um, it's rotating too much. the rotation <clears throat> yeah angle jitter that needs to relax a bit 
Okay. Hit there. Hit there a bit. Keep off that. Hit that. Some of these will get a little bit shiny, you know. Like here, for instance. They need to. <clears throat> hmm. This one can stay pretty, pretty heavy. From the sides, <clears throat> from the sides, these two should be, yeah, shiny. Um, where else? Maybe I want. Um, uh, that's too much. So I think for now that's okay. Yep. That's okay. Um Now for this... Just need to add it, right? What does the mask look like? Okay, so we just are basically slapping it on everything now, aren't we? Yeah, because we don't, yeah, we don't, just don't want to slap it on the plasticky bits, I think, we'll see. Um, if this is back to normal, show me that, yeah, this one is still behaving the way it should. Wait, no it's not. It has that that annoying Yeah, it has that annoying brushed metal normal map that should be eaten away. Hmm on the other hand, who cares? <clears throat> it's more detail. More detail equals better. So we're fine. We're fine. Alright.
Not bad. Mm. Not bad. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Our Patreon supporters. Lifetime top supporter is Martin. We need to add Martin to to our little robot here. <clears throat> Where should Martin be? And do we add Martin with a... We could add Martin with a vacuum tablet. Um, just need to find a place where... Angle. Oh, it could be along the foot here. That might be nice. Let's see if I would be able to. Where is it? Uh, stripes. Is it this spray paint? Um, how does the mask here look like? Black. The mask looks black. Okay, so what if I say... Um, pen marker? Mm, make it much smaller. Um... Make it white. Okay, that's that's how it draws, huh? I don't. Not a fan. Also, it needs to be smaller. Okay. Size minimum size flow hundred percent. Spacing five. Okay, that's better. Um, and then let's see material. Okay, so that that would work. I just need um, Just need to tag. We could do scratchy... Scratchy style. Hmm. Do we do Patreons first though? Or do we first create like the full on aesthetic and then do the Patreons? I 
And I kind of also want to do more of these stripes and different patterns on the robot because it's still too orange. Um, so I'm thinking... Yeah, let's, let's do the drawing later. Stripes first. <clears throat> Okay, so we have that. Um, stripes, arm. It's to go in here. And then the spray paint needs to. Polygon fill. Bam. Okay. So that works. And can I hide um, toggle mask? Okay. So where were we? Stripes arm. Line stripes. There we go. Scale it up. <clears throat> Wait, it's weird. Why why is it It's not filling. Um why is it not filling? Look. Oh, is it Oh, it's like a smaller, smaller thing. Okay. It's weird. Weird that it does that. Mm. X, Y, Z. Wait, does this also use... No, this one just uses stripes. Well, that one uses line stripes. Oh! There's textures and there's alphas. So I'm using the wrong one. Okay. Um, texture stripes. Mask. Yay, that's better. Um oh. and we rotate. Yes, something like that. Let's move it. And let's scale it. <clears throat> see the depth um, whoop. we just need to make sure that the depth goes all the way through so it's it gets wrapped and I think that's that we toggle the mask we play with the mask And we have ourselves hmm. something that doesn't match up. <laughs> okay, spray paint, 
stripes this bad boy we need now to make it match up awesome uh parameters pattern less stripes <clears throat> less shifting <coughs> but now more stripes mm. Mm. we could do 45 degrees i guess Where's the rotation? Oh. It's non-local, huh? Or is it 45? Yeah, it's kind of vertical. Okay. We can do that. Mm-hmm. All right, and what else? we start working with stickers Let's do 1080 by 1080. So if we were to, let's say, take a cow, right? Hear me out. So if I, let's find some sort of a, Let's see this cow. And I just say select subject. I just need the outline of it. Right? Create a new file. A uh, new layer. Shift F5. Okay. 
That's almost correct. That's good enough. Let's get rid of the cow here. And just delete the unnecessary bit. Uh, oops, from here. Brush. Just can kind of. We need it to be just slightly softer. I said just slightly softer. Just slightly harder. Yeah, that's good. Wherever. Um, then, 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 we need to take this, select this, uh, select and mask, kind of want to play around with this the hell is transparency color aware object aware okay sure I, I don't care okay radius radius I have no idea what's going on um smart radius okay can can i just want it to be smoothed out zero but can it be super smooth is that smooth is anything changing at all zero transparency feather no feather radius smooth <sighs> okay all i need is just this to be smoothed like 10 pixels okay that's all I needed Photoshop has too much crap <clears throat> <laughs> okay so we have a cow <laughs> we have a cow and then we have our patreon martin
Okay. Um. Let's go for Martin Steakhouse. I want a steak. Like that. That. <clears throat> now let's see how we can make this into a sticker. Or logo. Whichever. I guess we start with a font, right? Because Arial Black is not the, not the best, but it needs to be a manly font. Or, it could be this. Not steakhouse, but like a cow butchery. Martin's Cow Butchery. <clears throat> mm. Let's do like 200 LL and it down if I need to. Mm. Could do something like that and then increase this as well. So that it kinda hits it, but mm, it's not hitting it right. Uh, let's see if I can make it work. Like that. Might be. Okay, let's add a stroke to all of this. Like, um, for now a 10 pixel stroke, disable the background, or rather let's do a red background. Um, hello? Oh yeah, yeah, you do that through here. Um, okay, so it needs to be a thicker boy, like... 25 ish or let's do 20 and let's add another so let's uh, 
uh, rasterize or do you apply um, uh, this the, 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 the. I guess you just rasterize right no you don't uh, damn it I, I don't remember okay let, let's do it this way then merge down yeah and we'll just move all of this a little bit to the side and we do a little bit of a stroke this time five with black color yep maybe even less like three okay it's kind of like a, a, a sticker type of a thing okay so now back to Martin and his cow butchery kind of want kind of want this to be like that <clears throat> And then Martins, let's rasterize this. Make it bigger or stretch it out rather. Um, let's have it intersect there, intersect properly there. There we go. Yep. Eraser tool. Caps lock. Yeah. Yep. Clean up a bit. Yeah, that looks fine. <coughs> And then a few a few splashes of white here and there. What? Oh. No, wait. Actually what? Oh, br brush brush. Boop. That's fixed. That's that one's fine. Uh We could do that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh huh. I say we do this. And then uh, kind of sharpen it up a bit. Martin's Cow Butchery. A sticker. Maybe. Hey, let's try. Um, let's just try saving this and then seeing how it's, it's gonna behave. Um, and for that, I need to find my... Nope. <coughs> Apologies. Um, textures. Stickers. And let's just call this um, Martin. Save that. Or rather, um, let's... Oh no. Oh yeah, that, that's fine. Um, master. And then from the master, we'll 
get the stickers out. Um, my computer. Uh, we are gonna use PNG and call it Martin Cow. Uh, no, just Martin. Save. Smallest file size. Yeah, I don't care. Um, then we go back in here and we try it out. <clears throat> My libraries are gone. That's nice. <laughs> it's very strange. Uh, my... I mean, I could just bring it back through here, right? Yes, that's whatever. Um, how do I attach a sticker? I guess it's a projection, isn't it? Is it? Medium, environments, medium. Oh, uh, that's that. Libraries, project, my assets. Okay, so I need to import a resource. Um, that is gonna be... Um, and it's like a, it's not an alpha, it's a texture. imported to library okay and there's Martin okay so now I assume I can just slap him on to the robot <laughs> all right well, that's easy well that's super easy Mm, so Martin's butchery. Where does it, where does it exist? On an arm, maybe. Yeah, it could be on an arm. So let's get rid of this one. And instead, let's slap it on maybe backside of an arm, right here, right there. Bam, base color, definitely scale down. Uh, perfect. Rotate. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Now what? Now from here, I have this sticker that's called Martin. And it has only the base color. I need more. I need it to have... A normal map, a height map, 
What the? F oh, it's doing that. Uh, I don't want it to do that. Can it use the same? Uh... Okay, show me. Is it possible? Oh my god. So I can't really easily change the texture, right? I can only do like this, but this looks bad. Also, it retains. It still retains that. Mm. Can it be... Replace. What the fuck? Normal. Pass through. Uh, disable. Linear dodge, soft lightened. Normal map combine. Normal map inverse. Detail. Ah. <sighs> mask with color selection height combination levels no I don't care about levels add fill okay it just fills everything that's not not what I want I just want this to not inherit the normals. Um, Okay. Normal. Drop down, change blend mode. But that's weird. Why does replace?
let's let's do one thing <clears throat> here because we still need to do it either way uh, we need to merge this down actually merged all merge all of it down make a copy of this control shift or control L and just make it black hi Nico Nico happy new year happy new year <clears throat> and then this needs to be paired with bam with that uh, merge like that and control I this is gonna be uh, PNG as well <clears throat> might as well yeah today's texturing but I'm almost done um, for today because I'm still a little bit on the sick side uh, Martin uh, height I'm fighting the the freaking how do you call it I'm having a lot of issues with normal maps showing and from underneath the the cow uh, the you, you can see you know the the, the sticker it's not uh, it's inheriting the normals from layers below uh, so that's what we are fighting currently we'll see <clears throat> okay i can't add it like that but i can add it like that so maybe Um, that is gonna be a texture. Sure. Probably I'm doing it very wrong, but... Hey, it is giving me... Oh. Wait. It's pushing that one in. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So that one is being pushed in, and that's pushed out. So maybe we don't mess around with this kind of crap. Is it possible to isolate the alpha channel for the height map? Probably not. Is it? So let's get rid of that and let's uh, delete that. Yeah, it should be like blending option, but when I change the blending option to replace, um, it just does that. like ev ev everything just becomes white not everything it's like i don't even know how to like this becomes white i have no idea why
Yeah, there we go. This one. As well as this one. They don't... Mm. Anyway, uh, even with that, this is still, this is still getting the the, the bumps. Uh, like the sticker is still getting the freaking bumps. So I have no idea what's up with that. Um, fun times. Fun times. So this goes up. We do need a new folder called stickers. And it's gonna live there in that fo well, That's weird. But I assume, yeah. Yeah, now now it's blending doesn't matter, does it? Yeah. So now it's it's the blending of the master folder, which is called stickers, that matters. And now replace still does the same shit, and it's still yeah. Nothing works. I don't know. I don't know. Probably something easy. We could do it like that. That would be pretty nice as well. I kind of like it like that as well. Can this one be multiplied? No. it upside down honestly Yeah, so that's the cr crappy part, is that it's... <laughs> this whole thing becomes glossy. So it's like ignoring the... What is it ignoring? It's ignoring the... 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 the, the alpha channel of the color. Which kinda sucks. And lets me to believe that I'm doing this wrong. Environments, alphas. What if we... Hmm...
Because I could just import an alpha in here. Yeah. Where's Mar Martin? But what does it give me? It gives me a mask. Okay. So let's say I have a mask, right? And let's let's do this again. Ask chat GPT. N absolutely not. No. <laughs> nope. No. Uh. -uh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Color spaces are correct. That means I need... Okay, let, let's just create a mask. Uh, add bitmap mask. And Martin. Off. Wait. Will this work? Yeah, that's a no. But I, if I invert it, no, it <clears throat> okay, we need to clear the mask. And this should not be like an alpha. Just a texture. Okay. Martin? Um, do I... Can I drag and drop it in here? No, I can't, of course. Um... Clear mask, delete mask. Okay, so then I need to add bitmap mask. That is this, and it doesn't work. So let's check it out. Okay, it's everywhere mm -hmm. understood okay so it, it just uses the UV as a fill So, I'm doing something wrong. <coughs> let's let's uh, do from 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 the top. Okay. 
creating a stencil in Photoshop and importing it into Blender. Uh, two times speed. Mm -hmm. Invert, sure. Like a Photoshop file. All right. It's there. Import resources, sure, yeah. Imports as a texture. Okay. Okay, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Add the paint layer, sure. Stencil. Okay. Like that. And there's no... And there's no better ways to do this. It's like that or... Nothing at all, huh? Um... Okay. Um, adding stickers. Um, substance painter. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay. Huh? Fill layer. Sticker base. Sticker data. <clears throat> okay. What? Sticker data. Black mask, okay. I'm gonna have a stroke. Is this really the way it should be done? This is the second person who is doing it this way. Are you kidding me? And this is normal? <sighs> Fuck off. I'm I'm not I'm not doing this dog shit approach. We're not doing alphas. Uh we're just gonna have our little PNG stickers that I am going to take. And I'm just going to drag and drop them in as a freaking base color. 
And I'll just scale them to whatever size I want. Rotate them. And then call it a day. We're not gonna be doing any bullshit with the painting of, of stencils and whatnot. That looked stupid. Jesus. So bad. Because here I can even like stickers, I can even add a. Uh, a mask to here okay uh, clear uh, rem remove mask I, I can add a white mask to this and I can draw on that white mask or well, maybe not a cow maybe some different for instance something like that you know, and the sticker can be peeled a little bit. So I'm not sure what's up with what those guys are doing in the tutorials, but definitely not not what we're gonna be doing. Um, Something like this and scratch. Uh, too many scratches. Yes, I'm importing my cow sticker as a as a PNG, as a single image that is just slapped on top of my robot. And if I were to look at it, it's somewhere here, <laughs> somewhere here. Yeah, there it is. It's right here, right? It's it's all pixels, so it doesn't matter. I mean. That, 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 uh, wait, projection tool is the most ridiculous backwards, ah, uh, I'm not, no, we're not, we're not doing this. Eraser tool, yeah, sure. Anyway, anyway. That, that was weird. Let's not talk about it ever again. We could do uh, multiply though. This would be like a more accurate style of a sticker. A little bit less in your face. Maybe that's nice. And then the nice thing is that here, you know, oh no, it needs to be rotated. And I can just easily rotate it as I please. While with the other method, you can't. You can control the separation of the normal bumps only through textures, maybe? But this, this is a texture, isn't it? Like the... Oh, so I would need to create a new normal? Ugh. Screw that. I'm not doing that. No, no, no. Because no. I, I don't know how to create a normal in Photoshop, for first of all. Do we just do a purple boy? But it's just going to add up, right? 
Mm. It's weird. Um, it's weird that it's... Okay, what if we replace here? Oh, not, not here. Uh, here. Replace. Mm, I think finger tips should should showcase that. So replace normal. Yeah, that does absolutely nothing. Replace, replace, replace. Um. So it might be... Yeah, this one slightly changes it. Um, let's switch this to normal maps. So this is why it's weird. It's like the... Or maybe it's not. Maybe it should be like that. Um... Yeah, 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 you can see it here that it's, um, I shiny still shows up, I mean, it's, it's very nuanced, but it, it shows up through Iron Forged, through this layer. So if I then change Iron Forged to be replace, then this should have no effect, but it still has an effect. So replace just simply doesn't work. Or maybe it needs to be right on the, like the base here, replace. 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 This does nothing. Does this one need to be in a folder? And then when we say that this replaces... What if they are in the same folder? Iron Shiny, what if it's in our Metal Paint folder? Only of course, low, b below here. There's no folder. Really? Oh no, never mind. It's still there. Uh, it's still there. Okay. But now it's much less.
Isn't there a hierarchy of materials and substance which you have to place from top to bottom? What do you mean? You mean like iron needs to be in the top? But then it overtakes. Yeah, then 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 it overtakes all of the other materials. Let's let's take a look at it. Yeah, yeah. Then it's just this, right? Not great. Um, if it's below plastic, then it's like that, and then if it's below iron, then it's like that. And this is almost there. But you can kinda see... I don't even know what, how how this works because this is like brushed like so, and then yeah, you can still see it. Is it a mask or of some sorts? Oh my God! It was a mask. Well, th there's your problem there. All right. So replace works then. Wait, we need to check. So now this is with replace, this is with normal. Okay, so now it has zero effect. But with normal, it also has zero effect. I'm now confused. And also, why is everything else here just white? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so all of this should be metal, but it's not metal. That's because... Oh, it needs to... It actually needs to be in its own little thing, because metal paint is... Yeah. Okay, so this actually needs to be moved out. I'm trying to overwrite, fully overwrite hmm, a normal map so that it doesn't show through. But when I do replace, it does a very weird, like, white color pass at everything. Which is... I have no idea what, what, what's up with that. And also, why not here? Is it a mask? No, there's no mask there. So I'm just kind of confused, I guess, about 
what do these blending modes do exactly overlay let's try overlay for everything well it makes it orange deeper orange so that's nice Uh, unfortunately that's about it doesn't help with the bump I think I'm being too you too too anal about this <clears throat> I think we stick with uh, with this and we just make more stickers because this is like a good workflow to be able to do like stickers and place them All right, I think I'm done for today. Yeah, I'm done for today. It's, uh, it's windy out. The internet is freaking out as well. So might as well uh, finish up. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm streaming tomorrow. I need to uh, work. <laughs> work. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Um, new video is gonna come out uh, early next week. So that that's gonna be quite cool. Yeah, I'm off. See ya. Bye, Nico. Bye.